look at to this image this is sebaceous cyst sebaceous glands are usually found in dermis and if it gets struck with the sebum or keratin it swells up so you can appreciate the swelling and then inner uh, you can see there is a sebum uh, epidermis layer is visible then the dermis is visible so you can see this predominantly uh, arising from the dermal layer and then you can see that the sebaceous cyst has its own capsule and then down there is hypodermis and muscle layer so mainly this sebaceous cyst is from the dermal layer and it is filled with the sebum and the keratin and it uh, protrude towards the skin upward towards the epidermis this is high resolution of the ultrasound imaging and uh, you can appreciate a well-defined round predominantly complex cystic lesion having internal ecogenic uh, materials this ecogenicity is because of the presence of the sebum and because of the presence of the keratin so this is a typical sebaceous cyst this is on the back of the neck back of the neck is the area uh, where you can find quite a lot uh, sebaceous cyst normally it happens to be sub centimeter but it may grow up to a few several centimeters on the doppler imaging there will be no vascularity here you can appreciate that there is no vascularity to this sebaceous cyst because these are uh, not supplied by the blood vessels so therefore there will be no vascularity it would be subcutaneously lying so this is what the sebaceous cyst will look like on the ultrasound imaging